I would be mad. Like really, really mad for a child got hold to a gun and shot herself. I don't know what to do. Tiandra Watkins says she was putting her four children to sleep last night when she heard sirens. Just outside her apartment on Brashear Drive, emergency crews were responding to a call of a three-year-old shot. Police say Anthony Wells found a gun and shot himself. He was rushed to Coast Air Children's Hospital where he died early Monday morning. That's crazy because you shouldn't even have guns around kids, period, to where they can reach them at all. I mean, that's sad that he even got hold to the gun, period. How did he even get hold to it? I don't know. But that's really, really sad. Like, I feel sorry for the family. Detectives say the gun was hidden behind a TV. We're told it was loaded and it wasn't secured. It was the father's gun. He had left it inside the residence. Uh, everybody had gone to sleep. Uh, the three-year-old had woke up in bed and got up and found the gun. Watkins, who has a three-year-old herself, says she's only lived in the neighborhood for two months and has already seen more than one shooting. But she says she never thought she'd see this. It was scary, but you know, it shoots everywhere, so True. stuff's gonna happen, but I didn't realize a little three-year-old gonna shoot herself. While charges are not anticipated, investigators say it's a tragic, devastating way to learn a tough lesson. We look at it as certainly it's, a, it's an accidental death. I don't think anybody ever intends for something like this to happen, but uh, it is somewhat careless. And if you, you know, if you took the time to secure the weapon, you know, these types of tragedies could be avoided.